everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays. Let's play with Animal Crossing Wild World on the DS. And look at the ground. This is this is spring, pretty much. The snow has melted. We've got a bright blue sky. This is the first time we've seen the actual grass in this game. I even like seeing the grass on the cliffs there. It looks so cool. But we can see all of the trees, the grass, and we can see uh, everything just looks a little bit more balanced. I love the snow, don't get me wrong, but it is really refreshing to see what it looks like. Um as standalone grass so there we go our first little peak at spring which is really cool i kind of just want to run around now did our apple tree grow we put an apple tree here it did grow the apple tree looks so good in the spring there we go super happy okay it is sunday today so i'm hoping that joan is somewhere around town it's pretty early it's 10 o'clock joan should be here but also, there may be something else going on on the plaza. And also, you never know, there might be some traveling characters and some other villagers that we can talk to today. Hopefully, Champ is out and about as well. Because we, we're kind of becoming more friendly with Champ. And Champ's opening up to us quite a lot, which is really good fun. So maybe we'll head in that direction first. And see if... Oh, there's another weed here. And see if we can find Champ as our first kind of mission of the day. Because, we, oh, Joan is here. Yes, Joan is here. Finally. She wasn't here last Sunday for some reason. Um, okay, we've got any money. We've got plenty of money on us. Um, what we need to buy is a red turnip. Hey, Joan. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hey, Joan, come, come back here, Joan. Hey. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, hello. Come for a little chat with old Joan. Have you my wee radish? I've been traveling these parts, selling my stock of turnips for about 60 years now. For most folk around here, Sunday mornings bring to mind the thought of turnips. But maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. Want me to explain? Uh, no need. We're kind of the turnip expert these days. We're an expert at not profiting from turnips, but we do like to buy them. Uh, I tell you how to explain myself over and over again can get mighty tiring. What will it be, my wee radish? What kind of turnip are you interested in? So this is much the same by the looks as city folk. We have white turnips, which is the standard for all Animal Crossing games. And we have red turnips, which is exclusive to Wild World and city folk. And the reason we're so excited about finding Joan is because we need a red turnip. Because Wendell has specifically requested one. So when we next see Wendell, we need to have a red turnip, basically. So... Uh, so, we Radish, what did you want with a uh, red turnip? Anyway, I want to buy them, please. Oh, but you know what? I do have some red turnip seeds on me. I have one packet left, and it's not cheap. Like I said, they're hard to raise, but I'll sell it to you for a thousand bells. The only problem is, of course, if we don't encounter Wendell this week, so I'm wondering if it's best to keep the packet on us until we encounter Wendell, then simply plant them, water them, and dig them up again. Probably the best bet. Um, it's a deal. We'll be taking those, thank you very much. Oh, thanks, that's a load off my shoulders. Alrighty, just make sure you stay on top of watering it. It needs lots of love. Uh, thanks for the business. This old sow appreciates it, kiddo. Oh, thank you, Joan. We're going to probably... Uh, probably buy some white turnips off Joan in a little while. We just need to maybe uh, accumulate a little bit more bells, but I just wanted to, as soon as we bumped into her, we need to grab those red turnips while we can. Right. As we were, let's head over to Champ's house. I'm loving the way this, the way this town looks in the, with all the vibrant greens. It just, the grass just looks so cool. It's just something about Animal Crossing grass that is just so nice to look at. It's yeah, it's just so nostalgic, it's just pretty, and it just, yeah, it just, it makes you feel good, doesn't it? Right, let's head up to, oh, I can't wait to do a little bit of shopping today, but we do need to prior, prioritize our bell. I keep getting stuck on trees! Prior, prioritize our bells, but first let's track down Champ. Is he inside? <gasps> he is inside. He tends to be a little bit nicer when he's in his house, so hopefully we can get some more compliments out of Champ today. Hey, we're just barging in again. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Well, you're up early. Good call. You want to come to my place for a mean cup of black tea? Oh, wait. I just remembered I'm fresh out. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. At least you offered, you know. So, yeah. What did you need anyway? Tell me anything. Tell, give me a compliment. Hey, what does your house look like now anyway? It's a bit of a mess. It's pretty tight. I'm not going to lie. 
It's not very, it's not very roomy. What? Listen, Maury, stop copying me or what? Or is it going to be on? Uh, wait, wait, you challenged me to a duel? Oh, wait, that's right. You wish you were me. Hmm, Maury, sweet. Oh, okay, that cheered you up, I guess. What, you want people to be like you? There we go, get a little bit of a better view here. Champion's super cute. He's just a bit nasty sometimes. Let's see if we can get any more dialogue out of him. You know what I like? A chance to talk to someone who isn't you. No offense. Uh, of course, it'll be even better if they could talk about muscles. We could talk about muscles. What do you want to talk about? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then, champ. We're trying our best. We'll talk to you every day. Try and keep it pleasant so we can unlock that picture. That photo. Right, let's head up to the plaza, see if there's anything going on today. Nope, there isn't anything going on today. I could have sworn there should have been a fishing tourney today. That's what I wasn't sure. Look, what? 24th. It's the 25th. Fishing tourney begins tomorrow, and the winner gets a sweet trophy. Go to bed and you're, the, uh, you're ready for the big deal. How do we start the fishing tourney? Hey, why are you walking around with a net? Super Hugh, morning. Last night I had a dream that I was, uh, that I said morning to you, Snortle. Oh, that's right, you wanted to chat about something, right? Uh, got any gossip? My favourite furniture is really hard to come by here in Moriland, but the other day when I went to the store in the next town over, they were selling it like it was nothing. Wait, what's your favourite furniture? I, and I spend so much time at Tom Nook's shop, you'd think I was moving in. Wait, what is it? You can't just say something like that. Hey, good morning. Are you new? Pecan. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Pecan. And I just love shop for, uh, shop for clothes. Many things brought me here. Um, but I'll spare you the gory details. Hey, what brought you here? Was it that snack shop that we don't know where it is? I wouldn't want you to shed tears for me. We just met after all. Anyways. Oh, wait. You've got a horrible backstory, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. Anyways, it's nice to meet you, Chipmunk. Nice to meet you too, Pecan. Does that mean... Have we got full villagers then? Alfonso, Butch, Samson, Rosie, Champ, Pecan, Hugh, and Melba. Hmm, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we've got eight villagers, which is the max. I didn't realise anyone had moved out. Right, we've got our red turnip seeds. Okay, this is the second time something weird has happened. Last Sunday, Joan didn't appear when she should have done it. Now, there's a... Well, how do you start the fishing tourney then? I'm so confused. Isn't there supposed to be a special character out on the plaza? Paddy, what's going on? Let's check the recycling. Oh, we've got one thing. We have a clawfoot tub. We're going to sell it. Okay, we could probably get the fossils appraised, try and make a bit of money so we can maybe buy some turnips. See if we can start having a little dabble in the old turnip market there. Hugh, what's going on? Where's everybody's fishing rods? I could have sworn it was a fishing tourney today. Literally, the board says fish. You have to excuse me, by the way. I keep getting stuck on trees. The fishing tourney begins tomorrow, 24th. It is the 25th today, isn't it? And the winner gets a sweet trophy. Let's see the, the date. 25th! What's going on? Maybe it doesn't start until the afternoon. I thought it was weird when we came out of our house and it didn't say that today was a fishing tourney. There's de yeah, I definitely th there's definitely a way of messing up the events, I think, because first we've had Joan not appear when she should have done, and now we've had the fishing tourney not start when it should have done. Do you think it's because it's the first day of spring? Hmm, let's go see what Booker says. Booker's probably just going to say about Joan. I don't think he mentions the vents, actually, so he wouldn't even mention about a fishing tourney, but we'll see what he says anyway. Uh, well, uh, what can I do for you? What's new? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I don't remember how long it was ago it was, but I recall the turnip peddler Joan coming through here. I think. I think you're right. Okay, then, well, in that case... We probably should sort out our pockets, go and try and maybe get some bells and 
buy some turnips then. Oh, we've got a present. At least we've got some fun mail. What's this? HRA. Okay. Uh, 6,000 points. Not bad. Oh, it's the snowman. Oh, that reminds me. Did the snowman make it? Thank you, Maury. As thanks for making me, here's a present. This snowman bed makes sleeping cool and comfy. Sweet dreams. Thank you, snowman. Let's put some things in here. We'll put the umbrella away and we'll put the axe away. Probably the least likely things that we'll need. Um, we, we were prepared with a fishing cap and everything. That's so weird. I was quite looking forward to... Uh, to um, playing a little bit of fishing tourney. All right, snowman bed we're going to put in storage. Don't need the bathtub. Don't need the harp or the wallpaper. Okay, we've got the eight ball shirt that we were wearing yesterday. Okay, this is going to be our new look for a little while. I was... Yeah, this... I did have this hat for the fishing tourney, but... Not sure what happened there. Um, I, I don't know. It must be a bug or something. Or maybe it's because it's, it falls on the first day of spring. Right. We're going to put the snowman bed into storage, actually. I was going to just drop it, but we might as well go to the effort of putting it in storage. We've got dresser, TV, and bed. There we go. It's quite a good way to start. We definitely haven't got any other stuff in here that we need to concern ourselves with. Fairy tale floor, flying saucer... Oh, we did buy red turnip seeds. So we've got two red turnip seeds now. I'm so confused. Joan definitely wasn't here last week, though. So we'll put those in there for now. I think we're going to keep them until we find Wendell. We must have done the, the, bought the red turnip seeds already. I thought that was the first time we met Joan. Oh, well. We're going to be buying some white turnips today. So that's what we're going to focus on. So we're going to go and grab some coconuts, I think, to sell. We're not going to buy too many... Um, but we will, I think, just grab some turnips. There we go. I think in Wild World we have um, fishing tourneys quite regularly. So there'll be plenty more to look forward to. There we go. If you grab that, we can pick the last one up. Even the coconut trees look really cool it, with the, with all the in the spring, don't they? It just looks really nice, actually. Everything just looks so colourful. Anyway, yeah, I remember buying the red turnips now, actually. But what what we didn't do is we we saved the white turnips. So that's what we'll focus on today. Hey, Joan, it's good that you're in the same place. You stay there. We're gonna go and try and get some money. And our snowman was here. It didn't survive. It just, it lasted the day and then it instantly melted. What a shame. I was kind of hoping to see it like a mini snowman as it melted in the spring. But there we go. I like busting myths, so now we know. Um, let's see here. Donation. Yeah, we'll hand over the fossils if we need them, of course. There we go, Blathers. Have you got any good news? We have started getting plenty of duplicates already, though. Indeed, fascinating. Yes. Oh, indeed. Uh, what we have here is quite simply a trilobite. But it has been donated. Yep. We'll be taking that. Thank you. Trilobites are quite good to keep, but we also need the money... Right, Blaz, this is our second fossil. These aren't even today's fossils, so we might stumble across some more. An apto tail. Okay, we got at least one duplicate and one donation. That's pretty good. Uh, why? Could this possibly mean that our aptosaur has been completed already? Oh, I say indeed, if I may so be so bold. Uh, I couldn't be happier. The aptosaur, if I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, 
was once called the Brontosaur, I'll have you know. It is well known for having a rather long neck and a tail, and for being a herbivore. However, it appears that unlike the giraffe, it could not make its neck vertical. Yes, blood flow, you see. If it straightened more than 90 degrees, it might faint. How on earth does a giraffe do it? Where's Gracie? <laughs> Oh, terribly sorry I keep speaking at that rate, I might have fainted. Uh, you have our deepest, most profound gratitude. No problem, Blathers. We'll keep the trial out and sell it. We need some money for the turnip market anyway. Thank you for your time. Okay, well, that was quite good. It's always good if you can donate at least one of the, the batch of fossils. Look at the colour. It's so nice. Okay, let's go and see what we've got. Can we uh, water this flower? Try and rescue this. And we'll head inside. Yeah, so it's even it was even last Sunday or the Sunday before where Joan wasn't spawning in. Right, what do we got here? We've got the big shot. Oh we got the store the classic store. Hey, we got the tea table. And we've got another tree. Nice, there's some good items in here. What can I do? I want to sell, please. Um, just a bunch of coconuts. The Misty shirt. We'll keep the 8-ball shirt for a while. A fossil. And some random items that we have accumulated over the last few days that we don't really need. 20,000 bells. Not that bad. I think we can generate more though. But I will buy this table because it's so unique. Oh, a thousand bells is a bargain as well. Nice. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need from here. The blue clock is kind of cool. Um, no unique tools or anything. Uh, thanks so much. Please do come again. We'll be waiting. Thank you, Tom Nook. We're going to go and harvest some stuff. Maybe we'll do a beach run. I think we just... If we could get up to like... 50,000 bells, that would be really good. I'm going to go and dump this table in the house, though, so we don't accidentally sell it. I just like the tea table. It's a it's a very universal item. It kind of goes with everything. Nice wooden little table, and it's a one-tile table, so you can put things on it. Um, and it doesn't take up, like... Most tables are, are four tiles. They're ginormous. Like, the cabin table is just huge. The, uh, the tea table is really cute. There we go. Nice. Right, is there anything in here we can sell? I don't think... We haven't really decided what direction we're going in yet, so I think for now... That's probably okay. And um, we'll just keep a hold of everything we've got. We could get rid of our gyroids, but I'm still not sure if we can store them with Brewster or not. And Maybe we'll just keep a hold of them. It might come down to shaking peach trees as well but the first the best thing to do first is of course the money rock so i guess this week has just been all about the bells in animal crossing no that's not what we wanted there we go all right so many rocks 10 rocks in this game I don't know if that changes per town, but in this in this wild world town, we have 10 rocks. Right, where are the other rocks? We haven't learned where they are yet. Um, here's another one. I think we had four on this side and six on the other. Oh, Monique left. That's right. We didn't get anything from the uh, from the recycling bin for Monique, though. Okay, that's four. I'm pretty sure the other six are on this side of the river. Oh, where's the bridge? Here it is. Joan, it's nice that you're staying in the same place. Don't mind us. We're just trying to farm some bells. Hey, we found the bell rock. Or the money rock. Don't know what the best way to call it. Uh, 
There we go. So that's not too bad. It's the fifth rock. So we uh, only walked around half of them. And we have a fossil. Honestly, I'm just... I'm not even sad about the fishing tourney not spawning in for whatever reason. I'm guessing just because it was the first day of spring. Because instead we get to just enjoy... The, 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 it's not technically spring, but it is kind of spring because the snow's gone. So I'm just really enjoying like a nice sunny day. So being outside just hunting for bells is actually a really pleasant thing to do in Wild World. I think. Um, right, what else could we grab? Can we tidy up our bells? There we go. We've got another fossil we can appraise. I think we sh should find the other fossils as well. Let's do a beach run. Clear the, the shells. Was there any on our secret beach? Oh yeah, we can get the rest of the coconuts as well. Easy money. We'll definitely think about expanding our coconut trees in the coming weeks. We should probably plant more apple trees as well. Right, I'm just going to get this last fossil appraised. Or should we wait until we see the other ones? May as well do it now, mightn't we? Just in case we don't come across the other two. Because there should be at least two. I love the loading times in Wild World. Apart from the initial load up, going in and out of buildings is pretty quick, it feels like, compared to city folk. Good gracious! Might there be something which I can assist you with? Yeah, we have one more fossil. We might even have more later. But here you go. Whoops. Please be a good one, or an expensive one. Yes, ooh! Uh, I would like... If you would like, I'd be happy to identify it for you. Please do. This particular sample was a challenge to identify with certainty, but I'm now confident this is the Seismo tail. Indeed it is. The Seismosaurus will forever haunt us. Oh, that, that would make a good t-shirt. The Seismosaurus will forever haunt us. <laughs> I do believe that means the Seismosaur has been completed. Indeed. Oh, glorious day. The Seismosaur is quite simply a stunning creature. Of the dinosaurs that we know about now, this is the absolute longest. Its body was rather small and quite light for its length, to be honest. Ah, oh, terribly sorry. Oh, I was actually um, enjoying learning about that one. Who am I to judge his weights? We have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Okay, so we've got a couple of dinosaurs completed now. We'll have to tour the museum in a couple of days. Check out the fossils. So that's a, two completed today. Okay, let's go and pick up another shell then. Go and sell these. Yeah, I think 40 or 50,000 bells is a good place to start with our first ever white turnips. Our first ever gown ball. In this game. Let's see here. Thirty-two thousand bells, not too bad. Thank you, Nick. We'll be back. I definitely think we could do another couple of runs of things. Maybe not just the peaches. That might take too long. But we could definitely clear some more shells. Go and get the apples. Oh, hey, what is going down, you rocking bird? Listen, when you popped by my place the other day, did you forget something? Don't think so. Man, colour me impressed. You're a darn, so darned honest, Pipsqueak. Integrity ought to be rewarded, so take my cabana wall. 
I tell you the truth, I don't want it anymore. It messes my training. Okay, thank you. That's actually a really nice wall to get off a villager. I think that's probably most of the shells that we've got. Right, so we can go and get the apples. Pecan, hey, you are, the squirrels are pretty cute, aren't they? Uh, what do you want with me, chipmunk? Let's chit-chat. I want to transfer my look from head to toe and hit the town. Just thinking about it gets me all excited. But first, I need to get some new clothes. Oh, is that a hint? Is that, is that Pecan asking us to get some clothes? It could be. Right, let's head over to this uh, tree. Luckily, this these will grow back, of course. But I think more importantly, it's just best to get the money today. And we'll probably go and raid the lost and found. You never know, you might find something in there. Oh no, I didn't mean to ask what was new. Something lost? Currently have some items. I mean, definitely have 10. Wow, we need to keep on top of this. Uh, oh, we've got loads of stuff in here. Regal bookcase, nice. Um, sunflower. A beach chair. Plaid shirt, number five shirt. Let's give a bad plaid shirt to... Let's see if Pecan wants to take a shirt. If not, we'll sell it. Wow, that's, th those stuff spawn quickly. I wonder if it has something to do with whether or not you take stuff out of the recycling and if villagers are moving in and out. Right, where's Pecan? Over here somewhere. They do love to ping in this game. Not that I'm complaining. Hey, Maury! Which do you think is best? Um, my best side. We're going to go left, I guess, because it's the top one, maybe. Huh? What do you mean? My looks are one-sided? That's pretty complicated. Uh, yeah, that was a trick question. Oh, no. Melba! Does Samsung annoy you? Right, where's Pecan gone? Oh, there you are. Oh, hi, Maury! So, got any juicy gossip for me? Uh, clothe yourself! You can give the clothes! Here's a bad plaid shirt we got out of the lost and found. Could be yours. And even if it isn't, it is now. Oh, what's this here? A bad plaid shirt? Oh, yay. Uh, did you find it just for little me? Wow, I'm so impressed by your great taste and your big heart. Oh, actually, it's kind of nice. Well, I guess you deserve a reward anyway. Please take my 500 bells. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much. No problem. Right, we need to go and get rid of the Cabana wall before I sell it. Um, yep, I'm forever accidentally selling things in City Folk, so I'm trying really hard to, once we get something we want to keep, stick it in storage or put it on the wall. We do have a Cabana item out. Um, so maybe we could even display it. Uh, on wall. Oh, that lightens the room a little bit. Let's go with that for a little while. Beast chair we don't need. So what does the sunflower look like? Oh, it's an actual sunflower. And the regal bookcase is kind of cool as well. But you know what? I'm going to sell the bookcase. We're going to stick the cabin wall in our storage. Keep the sunflowers. Oh, I can't get to the storage. Ah! We're going to need to sort out our house some point so let's just double check here apple 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 beach chair regal bookcase some shells excellent so we can sell everything else pick up another couple of things on the way maybe we could just grab some um 
Okay, we've got three spaces. Maybe just grab some peaches. Not very valuable, but better than nothing. We could resort to actually shaking trees and getting like a couple thousand bells, but it does take a long time. And we probably should just step into Able Sisters as well, just to see what's on sale. Some fruit, some shells, a couple of unwanted items. The I wouldn't mind keeping the Regal bookcase, but we'd rather have the money today, I think. 3,000. So we're not we're not earning as fast as I thought we were going to. But it's still... We're getting up there. Let's go and check out Able Sisters before we do anything else. Knock, knock. Maybe we can get a different hat scenes. There's no fishing tourney today. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the Able Sisters where you are the fashion designer. Oh, yeah. we don't See, they were preparing for the... Uh, they were preparing for the fishing tourney the other day, and we were talking about it being a battle, weren't we? What do we got here? Some sort of robe, and no another number shirt, a love heart shirt, nothing that's too interesting to us. I think we can buy those at a later date, probably. Oh, we got the broken umbrella as well. Okay, enough uh, lazing around. Let's go and at least get 40,000 bells, I would, I, I would like, I think. So we need another 4,000. How are we going to get 4,000 bells? If we harvest... If we harvest things... It's not going to be a lot of money. I think we're going to have to sell our gyroids. We're not really keeping them, are we? And I don't want to do any fishing yet because... We need to start donating them before we sell them. So it's probably a bad idea. So I think what we're going to do is just clear out our storage instead. Uh, that is definitely one thing I want to keep on top of in this game anyway. Um, right, so I think we're still at the beginning of the game. So we can find these again. Let's get rid of these. Um, the snowman stuff will keep. Work uniform, heart shirt. We did, we were going to use that for Valentine's Day, but that's been and gone. Grapefruit tables. We've got. We, I do like the fruit stuff. UFO, fairy tale floor, some seeds, and that's it. Okay. Um, the tea table we're going to keep. So what I'm going to do is There's so much stuff here. Um. Get rid of the cardboard box. Um, put the candle back on the table just for some lighting. Is this a classic item? What's this? Classic desk. Let's get rid of the classic desk. Move that there. Drop the table back down. And this is a classic table, isn't it? Right, we've got quite a few gyros going on, so we can get rid of those as well. I think we can get rid of the tie-dye. Oh, we can't carry anymore. Um, okay, we can always buy them back. I think we've just got too much stuff in here anyway. So we'll keep the moldy shirt that we got from Gracie and a couple of uh, other items. And the, the room looks a little bit better already, actually. So that's just... That's, not tidied it up, but it's kind of created a little bit of space for when we 
rearrange and decorate, which we'll probably do at some point. Look how nice it looks outside. Just look at this. It's so nice. Anyway, getting sidetracked. We'll go and sell what we've got. And hopefully that will take us over the 40,000. I was hoping for 50, but I'll settle for 40. Just so we can buy some turnips. We don't want that many anyway. Especially as like our first go. So, right. Going to get rid of the purple tie-dye. The shirts, classic stuff. And then a bunch of gyros. Which should be worth quite a bit of money. 7,000. There we go. So it's taking us about 45,000. Pretty good. I think that will do. Because it will leave us some change as well. Uh, as we go into the new week. Okay. Let's go and find Joan. The colour on the screen as well. Which will be on the capture. Looks even more vibrant than on the DS. It's so nice. Uh, where's Joan? Are you still here, Joan? Oh, there you are. Hey. Hello there, but we radish. White turnips today. Uh, today, my asking price for turnips is 96 bells. How does that sound to you? Um, I'll buy some. That sounds... Uh, that's good. That's good. How many do you want? Okay. So, what was it? So, we can do like... Should we just do... Can we do 500? Uh, oh, it's just over. I, I changed my mind. So I have to do maybe 450. Um, let's see here. I'm buying. Perfect. Oh, look at all the hard-earned bells disappearing. Uh, thanks, that's a load off my shoulders. Oh, Marie Radish, you still want to buy white terms, don't you? Uh, no. Oh, that's a nice uh, loop, dialogue loop. Going straight back into buying terms if you want to. Doesn't do that in City Folk. Right, what do these look like? Are they in batches of 10 again? Yeah, 10 and 5. That's annoying. 50 turnips, but that's okay. Right, we need to store these somewhere, so... I mean, they could, we could keep it in our pockets for now, I suppose. I'm just going to go and have one more word with Champ, I think. Try and keep on the good side of Champ if I don't keep running into things. So I'm really hoping to get a villager picture soon. I don't know how long it takes. Champ's always by the front door as well. It's always you know, eager to leave. Hey, more, you've been hitting those weights. By the way, what's going on with you today? Not a lot. I was planning on fishing, but, you know, grinding for bells instead. Hey, yo, Maury, have you pulled any muscles recently? You know who actually works on pulled muscles? Wrap them in, uh, what works, sorry. Wrap them in salmon fillets. The only problem is uh, the stench. <laughs> but it's a small price to pay. I'm not, I don't mean to be rude, champ, but I ain't seeing any muscles on you. Just, just saying, you know. Where are these muscles that you're talking about? Hey, yo. Enough of that. You got something to say? Any gossip? Uh, not bad. Uh, this is where uh, me and my biceps live. They say welcome. <laughs> All housewoman gifts go here. Kick back for a while. Okay, champ, whatever you say. We haven't bought you a gift, but, you know, we we, we appreciate the, the niceties for a change. But there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up before champ kicks us out of the house. Um, yeah, not sure what happened with the fishing tourney. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one today based on the notice board. But it is the first day of spring. I'm sure that has something to do with it in the code, maybe. 
of the game but it was so nice to experience the green grass really happy happy we got to experience that it looks so good it's super nostalgic it's just something about it it's really bright and happy and nice so hopefully you enjoyed it too and of course we uh, brought the episode around by just making some bells and buying some white turnips which is something we didn't get to do last time we met joan which is really cool and we're doubly prepared for wendell as well uh, which totally slipped my mind that we'd already got a red turnip, but at least we've got two now, which is really, really awesome. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know what you think of these spring colours and the grass and the trees. And if you prefer that over the winter and the snow, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, a huge shout out as well before we go to the channel members that make this possible and supporting this channel. It's just incredible. I can't thank you enough. Thank you seriously for being so awesome. Um, we all really, really appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!